All right, you guys, what an exciting time of the month. We're going to do my currently inked. As you guys can see, I did change the setup a little bit. For the previous months, I was just basically doing a little bit of a box. The pen I was using, the ink I was using, same thing about two months ago. Did have a smaller amount of pens inked at the time. And this month, I have an even smaller amount of pens inked. And one of them technically isn't even an inked pen. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start with my most used ink and pen combo, which is my Eco. If I'm not mistaken, this is Eco Tea in Saffron. Not Eco Tea. My Eco in Saffron inked with the beautiful Juliet from Warangle. So we're going to go ahead and shake up the ink because it does have shimmer always 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 rough up or stir your ink with shimmer if you have like a magnetic mixer that those usually look super cool like super super duper duper, duper cool uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of swatches so i'm gonna use my kakamori brass nib dip pen to do that in so i'm gonna get a little bit and we're gonna fill the little ink bottle if you guys are interested in this stamp, this is actually sold at Yoseka. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below. And I'm only going to do, I'm probably going to throw it like right here. I'm also going to do like a solid line through the top right here. Just so that we get like a better view of the pan. Rinse off the nib dry it off and we're gonna go ahead and go into the one that it's inked again this is the eco in saffron this particular nib is a 1.1 stub nib so it is a little bit on the thicker side i've been enjoying the stub nibs recently and we're gonna is that it is that all i can go down yes that's all i can go you want to shake it up you want to agitate the shimmer within the pen as well And we're going to go ahead and write down the ink name along with the brand. So again, that is going to be Wear in Drool. And we have the ink shade Juliet. And we have the Eco the twisby eco i do the pen in like a smaller font right here i'm gonna go ahead and no this is the twisby eco in heat not in saffron Oop, my bad good thing i didn't write it down but we're gonna do heat and this particular one is a 1.1 stub nib i purchased this ink from pen chalet in Coupled with the partner that it comes with, which is Romeo. Romeo, wherefore art thou? Romeo. <laughs> and honestly, once I swatched that ink color, it was game over for me. I fell in love with it. I was like, I have to ink it. And I did. The other pen I've been enjoying writing with is the Carousel Pen from Beresville Press. This one is in a medium nib and I inked this up with the matching ink which is the Poison Envy ink color. This was I believe like the beginning of was it July or August but this was one of the most like recent releases within the last couple of months and this ink sold out incredibly quickly and rightfully so similar to the Juliet ink by Warangel, this is a shimmering ink. This one, however, also has sheening properties. It's meant to sheen a bit like on the greener side. Like I'm trying to go too deep in there. It's so dark I can't even see like where the nib is going into. And again, we're just doing that inside here. Kind of like a page breaker. We're going to go ahead and do 
the line right here as well. Now, I mean, I'm going to put the quick disclaimer that these two items were sent to me by Ferris Wheel Press. I am part of their Jubilee program. And if you guys so choose to purchase anything from the actual Ferris Wheel Press website using the code SWIM, will get you a free ink charger set with your purchase of an ink, any full-size bottled ink, notebook, or pen, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a really good deal because you get the $15 ink charger set for free which is awesome 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 i guess stated before this is in a medium nib so similar to over here we're gonna go ahead and do it in big letters the only difference is is that instead of just writing it out like the whole ferris will press uh name i'm just gonna do fwp for short and as you guys can see i'm more used to writing with the 1.1 sub nib now because my writing feels a lot neater here than it is here but it's all good in the hood and this one is poison envy Alrighty then, sorry my battery died. But yes, I'm not going to put the name of the carousel pen, like the color of it, because it matches the ink. And it is in a medium nib. But like I said before, this one has like a deep, like really deep, rich purple base with some like green, would it be considered chrome or duo shift? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, we'll say we'll say duochrome green shimmer that kind of like reflects a bit blue with the sheening property where it sheens green. And the last ink is an honorable mention because I fell in love with this ink when I got it. Got this one about a week ago or two, no, like two weeks ago. And it's not inked yet because I haven't selected the pens I want to use this month. The only pens I have inked are the Twisby Eco and the Ferris Wheel Press um, Carousel pen. Because those are like been like my daily go-to writing wise. Like I'm almost running out of ink on the Twisby one. And I re-inked the Carousel one just because the way it writes is still like nice and fine. That it makes like drying time like a breeze. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this ink in. Like this just looks like a ruby slipper color to me. I don't know. And I've been using my dip pens for this one. So when I use this one, I usually just grab like a medium dip pen. And I go ahead and use it that way. So let me go ahead and get my dip pen. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. And for this little pen demonstration, we're using the Pilot Iru Utsushi dip pen in medium. And the reason I'm choosing medium is because this one also has shimmer in it. Yes, I am a sucker for shimmer. So the brand for this one is colorverse if i'm not mistaken yes it's colorverse and the color is felicity i think that's how you pronounce it i could be wrong though Felicity, and again, this is the Iro Utsushi. Iro Utsushi dip pen. 
in a medium. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for enjoying this video with me. Uh, if you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys are interested in watching more of my content, I do have more videos posted. I have a playlist of my currently inked. If you're interested in seeing any of the past months you guys see here.